What's up guys, moving on to the next example, we have to find the slope m of the line f of x equals mx plus 5 if f of negative 1, 3 is equal to negative 4. Now at first glance this question might seem a bit confusing but in fact it's very easy and it's going to be very short. So what kind of information are we given? Well we're given that the inverse f of negative 1x has a coordinate 3 and negative 4. Right? The x value is 3, the y value is negative 4. Well, what does that mean about the original function f of x? How do the coordinates of an inverse and a function relate? Well, if you remember to the overview video, all the coordinates are just basically interchanged. So all the x values become y values and all the y values become x values. So if this point 3 and negative 4 is on the inverse, then the corresponding point on the original function would be negative 4 and 3. Notice how I changed the x and y values. And now since we have a coordinate, uh, this would be the x value, this would be the y value, on our original function f of x, we could just plug in this coordinate here and then solve for m. So f of x is equal to mx plus 5, or let's rewrite it as y equals mx plus 5. Uh, let me write this a little nicer. So now all you have to do is plug in for x negative 4 and then for y 3 and then solve for m. So we'd have 3 equals negative 4m plus 5 and then we just solve for m, bring the 5 over, so we'd have 3 minus 5, which is negative 2, equals negative 4m, divide both sides by negative 4, so m is equal to 1 half, positive 1 half. Okay, so one more time as a recap, we were given the points on the inverse, so this 3 and negative 4, so on the original function, the corresponding point would be the x and y values interchange, so it would be negative 4 and 3. And then we can use this point on the, on the um, function f of x. We could plug in the x and y values and then solve for m. So then doing that, we solve for m and we got a slope of 1 half.